me? Yeah. This is a big deal. It is. I look like a sloth. Okay, you can see the <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taylor Nicole and this is Garrett. He is my boyfriend and we have been doing long distance. Oh God. And we've been doing long distance. <laughs> It's just because you're laughing. No, it's not. Okay, we've been doing long distance for the past eight months. He's from Washington. We're both from Washington, but he was in school down in San Antonio, Texas, but he just quit school there <laughs> and moved back home. And a lot of people have been asking questions why. So I'm going to make a video about why I did it. Here's your explanation. You're just eavesdropping. Yeah, you are. All right, guys. This is just a quick video of an update on my life. I know a bunch of you guys have been asking why I left Texas early and why I'm back home right now. Basically, you saw the title. I quit Division One baseball. Damn it, I'm awkward. It was a lifelong goal that I had. So out of high school, I went to a Division Two school, and then I felt like I was good enough to play Division One. So I went to a junior college, got better, and worked really hard, and got a Division One scholarship. And so I went down to Texas and had a great season, a lot of good memories, a lot of cool experiences, playing at Texas A&M, Texas, Houston, we played Notre Dame. So we had a coaching change this year. Me and the coach didn't see eye to eye on everything. I ended up not playing as much as I wanted to, as much as I did the year prior. When a new coach comes in, new players come in, everything changes. That's basically what happened with me. The day-to-day -day life this year changed a lot for me. And throughout this entire year, I had battled trying to get good grades, trying to do good at baseball. My passions kind of changed. Baseball stopped being my passion. I stopped enjoying coming to the baseball field every day. I used to love it. I used to get excited for it. But over the course of the year of not playing, you really kind of figure out who you are. And I didn't really enjoy being down there anymore. I wasn't really happy with my situation. I developed a new passion, a passion that's been mine my whole life. Right after finals week got done, I went into the office and I told the coaches that I wasn't very happy and that uh, I wanted to finish my degree at home and uh, that I'd really lost my passion for baseball. If you're watching this and you've never played college sports or division one sports, um, you really have to know what you're getting into. It's very demanding. It's your whole entire life. You're not going to have a job. You're not going to really have a social life. So it really is a full-time job. You're going to be at the field for some days on practice, four to five hours a day after class, after weights. Um, you'll have weights in the morning at 6 a.m. or sometimes 5 a.m. or sometimes 7, kind of depends on your schedule. And then you'll have class after that from 8 to noon or 8 to 1. And then you'll have practice at 2 or 3 until 6 or 7. And so that's five days a week and that's off season. So that's going to be from fall, winter to spring. And then once season comes around, you're going to have the same practice schedule, except on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you're going to have a game on each day. And it's usually a six o'clock or a seven o'clock game on Friday. And so you're gonna have to be at the field at two or three and you won't get done until 10 or 11 at night. And so it's really an all day thing. And so it's hard to fit in meals. It's hard to fit in homework. It's really your whole entire life. So you really have to know what you're signing up for and you have to love what you're doing every day to be there. And quite frankly, this year, I just lost my love for all of that. I feel like, you know, after not playing as much as I wanted to. I felt like I was just wasting my time. You know, I think if you're not really happy with where you're at, you need to change it. And so I did change it. I made a very big decision that a lot of people didn't agree with and don't really understand, but I hope people can just understand that this decision made me happy and this is the right thing that I need to do for me. I prayed a whole lot this year and I feel like this was God telling me what I need to do. And the idea just got more and more attractive every day. I had been thinking about it for the past few months of school. Once I finished school, um, I went in and talked to the coaches and basically told them all of that. A little side note is last summer, I started taking my real estate courses. And in the fall, I managed a 3.5 GPA while playing Division One baseball. And taking my real estate courses. And in December, I passed my real estate test and got my real estate license. So that is my next thing that I'm doing right now. I'm super excited about that. And I'm finishing my degree at University of Washington, Tacoma. I really had a passion for real estate my whole life from, you know, on Saturday mornings, going with my mom and going and looking at investment properties and stuff like that. And uh, running out of the car and going up and grabbing the flyers from the houses and running back in the car 
and talking about it until we found the next house. And I'm super happy with my decision. I know some people won't be supportive about it, but it's something that I've wanted to do and doing this whole thing. This has all happened in the past two weeks. So it's been super liberating for me. It was uh, something that I chose to do that no one else influenced me on my decision. Um, something that I've been thinking about for a long time. So yeah, that was my final decision. I'm super excited about this. Taylor's gonna put my email right down there and um, follow me on Instagram at Garrett underscore Terrell. Yeah, that's basically my life. I know a lot of you have been asking why I left Texas and came back home. So that is why I quit Division One baseball.